And so you've told us now about Annoy, this open source library that you created for um, searching efficiently across um, these vectors. So um, it's a high dimensional nearest neighbor search. Do you want to dig into that, the technical aspects of that a little bit more? Yeah, yeah. I, there's a couple of uh, talks I've, I've done, and you know, it's, so there's probably some more like uh, presentations online if you want to go super deep. But the, the rough idea is like, okay, you have this like forty dimensional space, right? Like, how do you how do you search that space in a you know less than linear way? Like, you want to like not have to go through every single point in that space and compute the distance. And so, the the way annoy works, which is to be fair, is like probably like state of the art today uses other types of methods. Uh, but the way annoy works is that it partitions the space uh, into a tree. And so you, you basically pick uh, roughly a random hyperplane, although you can sort of you know, use the data in, in, in some way to inform it. You pick a, a random hyperplane and split the space mm -hmm. and then put half the points on one side and the other half on the other side. Mm -hmm. Now you do that recursively with each subspace. So you, you take this space, you know, uh, split it again, and then you take the, 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 the you know each four of those and split them again until you only have I don't know like ten points left in each you know hyperspace right it's a four dimensional space. Turns out like those points that are like in each leaf node of this tree are very close to each other. Right. On the other hand, like there's this like problem now because like sometimes you ended up by accident like kind of you know right. picking a hyperplane like very so that partition two points that are very close to each other. Right. So the trick then is to you know do this about you know a few hundred times or ten forty times or something like that. So there's both during the search phase, uh, uh, you know when you're searching through the space, sometimes you actually go on both sides of the plane. So you know if you're searching like. You know, on on uh, if you have a query point, you, you kind of go down the like the, the tree, you know, and, and pick go on the same side all, always, and then like you end up in a leaf node. But sometimes you actually want to also like look at the other side if you're close enough. And the other trick, as I mentioned, is also you do this hyperspace partitioning scheme, you know, ten to twenty to hundred times, where you like you know start over with all the million points and you know repartition the space, and so you end up with a hundred trees, and now you can search all those trees in parallel actually. Uh, and uh, and find near points. Uh, so that's, that's sort of rough intuition. More modern methods, I should point out, they, they use a very different approach, which is probably better. Uh, they use like a graph-based approach instead. They try to build a graph of points that are close to each other. Right. I know less about that, but uh, there's a bunch of state-of-the-art algorithms like FACE that by Facebook and uh, a few other ones.